Hello everyone, this is Chris Cross from CA Technologies and the Application Delivery Business Unit. And I'm going to talk to you about the fifth day of the 12 days of dev test. On the fifth day of dev test, the CA team brought to me five generated assets. Yep, that's what we're going to talk about. Instead of the five golden rings, we'll talk about how we can generate actionable assets with CA Continuous Application Insight. We'll look at how we can actually build our test cases automatically versus going old school and testing always from the UI. So if you think about traditional testing, what I do is I would come over to my Lisa Bank or my UI and come in and start driving test cases manually. Well, how horrible was this? I'm never going to make it to Christmas and test all this application if I have to come into the UI and start clicking manually to do everything. So if I make my withdrawal, yes, I can see it on the screen to validate it, but that's probably not the best way to test this application. So if you think about it, behind this user interface, there's databases, there's app servers, there could be REST calls, JMS, MQ series, web services, all sorts of things. So there's a lot of other places we can validate this application versus always driving it through the UI. So how do we know that? Well, with Application Insight, what we can do is analyze our transactions and see what's there. Well, it looks like there's been a lot of transactions and work done today, so let me see what's showing up. If I see behind the user interface, I've got different things. So I've got the web page, hit some Java beans, I hit a web service that went out to a remote machine, and hit the databases. So I bet I could do a better job of testing this application by testing or regressing at this API layer than waiting for um, the UI to be completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually starting narrowing my search criteria. I'm actually interested in say web service calls and uh, I don't want all 3,000 transactions from today. Actually, I want to go pull when we're doing a solid regression run. So that was actually at 1045 today. Ah, see, we had about 900 transactions that happened then. So I'm going to click repeated pass because I'm pretty sure that we did a lot of the same transactions over and over in the bank. We did a lot of deposits, withdrawals, looking at accounts, checking security, things like that. So if I ask for repeated pass, what it's going to do is look at everything that's observed and then make an actionable analytic against it and say, okay, which one of these is potentially data-driven testing where I've done the same things over and over again, but use data? Wow, it looks like we've got like 169 of this transaction, 170 of that one. So we've probably been, done a lot of data-driven testing today. So let's kind of drill into these transactions and see what we see. I can see there was multiple application servers working together. Yep, I can see they exercise the get user. Well, instead of having to drive that through the UI, I'm just going to throw those onto my shelf, and I'll work with those in a little bit. Let's go look at another transaction. Yep, they did some security testing, so I'm going to throw those on my shelf. So basically, from the CAI dashboard, I can see all sorts of transactions and what happened behind the scenes. I'll be able to follow through to understand if there was web services, if there was um, different transactions happening, um, database calls, so I can actually see down to say the SQL statements and the data associated with them, or at the Java Bean layer, or even at the SOAP layer. So the nice thing is when I see this different information, I can actually build test cases automatically from this. So I don't have to drive my transactions from the UI. So if I come over to my shelf, I've put three things on my shelf I want to work with. So let's go look at those frames. So I've got get users, tokens, and some get accounts. Okay. So what I'm going to ask CAI to do is analyze the transactions and generate baseline tests for me so I don't have to do that manually. Okay. Looks good. I can see the different agents that are available. Yep. So that's why I'm worried about testing right there transactions in the middle. There's a lot of stuff happening out there, but it's done a good job of narrowing it down. And I'll generate those baselines. Awesome. So now I've generated all my assets automatically. 
looks like I may get all my testing done before the 12 days of dev test, or maybe even before the sixth day. So if I come over here and I select my project with my Christmas test, what I'll see is all the test cases I've generated. Oh, and there they are. Hundreds of beautiful test cases automatically generated for me so I don't have to do them by hand. So with Continuous Application Insight, what I can actually do is observe transactions that have happened in the background. This could be manual testers, this could be you know, developers working, and then look at the actual architecture, understand how things are working, and then identify lower levels, maybe they're SOA layers or REST layers or integration layers, or maybe just plain old EJBs you need to do functional testing on, and generate test cases to test them individually without having to have a fully orchestrated system and drive all your transactions from the user interface. This is Chris Krause again. Hope you tune in tomorrow for the sixth day of DevTest.